All right, so uh, last time I was talking about the Intec uh, Air, was it the Idle Air uh, Control Valve? So this is it right here. So I'm gonna take this off. To take this off, you need a uh, Torx 20 security. So basically, what that means is that there's a little uh, uh, indentation in the screw itself, in the Torx head, and on the tool itself, there's a, a little dimple. Uh, otherwise, a regular Torx won't, you know, won't fit. It won't work. There's two uh, two screw heads. One on top. One on the bottom. See, disconnect the wire. So this is this is the thing that's giving me that check engine light. It's showing um, uh, 29 blinks uh, out of the uh, check engine light. Okay, don't need the screw. Set that aside. Set that aside. This little clip here that holds it, it actually, uh, well, let me show you guys. Let's slide this thing out on the way out. So, this little clip here, basically, it it's actually slides. There's, there's actually a stop for it. So, you just have to find a slot and it'll slide right out. Right? Right there. So, it slides right out. Right? So, let's look at this valve here. Let me see if I could zoom this, zoom into this. All right, so you see this? So right, right there. Oops, right there. You see like little groove, hemisphere. Wait, excuse me, uh, half circle groove. That's where that the pin is in the uh, uh, in the throttle body. There's a pin that this valve actually this valve actually slides. You know, the, the pin actually is, uh, it's a it's a this valve actually slides uh, in and out. What I what I believe is happening is that the uh, um, over time the pin you know, from the vibration the pin basically wore wore that little groove in there. So th so basically this valve is getting hung up and it's not able to to uh, uh, slide in and out. So uh, so the, this 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 right here still works, but uh, I believe it's getting hung up. Um, and it's you know it reads pr proper ohms. No, the proper specification and, and I plug it to 12 volts and I can see it spinning in and out so it should be fine um, so anyways I'm gonna take this off uh, I have a new one and when you buy buy one you can't just buy that little valve you have to buy the whole piece you know you have to buy this whole damn thing which is kind of dumb but this is just how it is and it's uh cost me 40 plus dollars for this little thing you know 40, 40 something and that's without shipping so where shipping is going to cost more. So here, here it is. Oops, what's what that? So here it is. And you see, there's no groove at all, right? So there you go. So I believe that's the cause of the uh, of my of my failure. <clears throat> um, hmm, interesting. Actually, okay. So yeah, so yeah. So I'm gonna actually I'm gonna keep the old one as a backup just in case. I'm gonna plug this one in. So it should be good to go. Uh, that pin is actually pointing uh, towards the front. So basically this this groove, oops, this groove here, this groove should be basically pointing straight back to where the plug is. Uh, so that's how it should should uh, connect. All right, so put my clip back on. Oh, she would which side with it. It was like that. So I think it's this this the orientation right here like that. Slide that in. Okay. Let's get this hose out of the way here. Right, 
Throw this right in. I just need to screw this back on. Hopefully I don't lose this bottom one. Oops, stupid. Damn it. Oh, god damn it. Almost lost it. Oh, stupid hose here. It's in my way. The good thing is that you don't have to take off the throttle body. I was I was actually in the middle of taking off. I actually unscrewed it already. But then I realized, oh wait a minute, I could I have access to these uh these two uh these two screws. So all I need to do is just plug it in. Screw it on. Alright. Tighten it back up. Okay, put it back in. So hopefully it should work now. I'm gonna screw my uh, my screws here back on. I didn't. Uh, I totally forgot to. Uh, well, I should have realized I don't need to unscrew these. What the hell the neighbors are doing? They've been making a racket all day long. They're doing some kind of work over there. Alright. It's not like I don't make a racket, I make a racket quite a bit too. So, no big deal. Oops. Move this out. Alright, screw it back on. Okay, it's tight. Alright, so everything's good. I'm gonna start it up. That's my keys. Where are my keys? Here the keys. Okay, looks good so far. something maybe you need to reset the ECU or something the ECM all right so I'm gonna cut the video now and I'm gonna probably have to reset the EC the, the ECU and uh, 
get back to this thing. Alright, thanks for watching.